Oh my gosh, what an experience. Can we put this one in like a whole nother category? Because it, yeah. it's not just a food, it's it's an experience. It's It's everything. Big thanks to SM Real Estate for sponsoring this video. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another Coeur d'Alene food video. The first video Stefan and I made in June, was it June? I think it was June. It got great results, everybody loved it, and because of you, all your recommendations, we have another short list of other restaurants that I hadn't tried, you had tried I years ago, tried, and yeah. so we went back to some of these and they were awesome. So you know what's really hard to beat for breakfast? Mm -mm. A hard-boiled egg. You know whose pancakes are hard to beat? The Stupid Cow Cafe. They got the best pancakes. They're like a vanilla sweet cream pancake. Tastes like birthday cake. Yeah, they, they really do taste like birthday cake. The vanilla and whatever sweet cream they use are really good. Mm. They also had a really good chicken fried steak. Oh, I love a good chicken Crispy, fried steak. Crispy, really good gravy. And their Benedict was awesome. Mm. And their biscuits and gravy really good yeah the food was awesome i've never been there before i think there's one in spokane but the one here in uh, in hayden that was really good so what do you call it when you add champagne to your orange juice at breakfast alcoholism <laughs> by the way can i get a, a refill i don't have any more coffee that's not coffee uh talking about good mimosas and stuff Le Peeps. Oh yeah, great mimosas. They got great mimosas. That's another place that I haven't been to in years. I went there when it first opened. That must have been 10 years ago. And it was hit or miss, more miss, but now I think they got it figured out. They do. And you're sitting right on the river. Beautiful. And the food was good too. Yeah, food's great. What did we have? I had the Monte Cristo French toast. The crepe. The, yeah, the crepe. <laughs> so no, it was really good. The food was awesome. I mean, it, it's it's hard to screw up breakfast, but when you have a good environment, you have a good view, uh, the food comes out nice and hot, and everything has good flavors. Yeah. I don't know. You can't beat a good crepe. Or a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't know if you ever worked breakfast in a restaurant, but when I started, we were serving breakfast and it was $2.99 for two eggs, any style, uh, toast, potatoes, I'm not that old. Those were and, days. Yeah. And unlimited coffee for $2.99. But do you know who still has single digit breakfast here in Coeur d'Alene? Who? Franklin's Hokies. Oh, wow. And they're a staple for Coeur d'Alene. They've been there. My They've sister been there since the there. 80s, right? Yeah, my sister worked there in the 80s, probably before then. I don't know when they first opened up, but they've been there quite a while. She'd always bring home the extra croissants that they had on hand. So they had fresh baked croissants. Oh, um, I bet that was good. Oh, it was amazing. Now they got a, a killer breakfast burrito. Let's wait for the airplane because it's going to get loud. <laughs> Say bye, Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> so the Saratoga eggs with red potatoes, those are awesome. I know, so is the California Benedict. Single digit breakfast, great quality, good food. Yeah. You can still find it in Coeur d'Alene. Makes me want to go to Franklin's right no. now. So my neighbor texted me the other day. She made fresh synonym rolls. So I texted back. I was like, you mean the ones like grandma used to make? I haven't heard from her in two days. Cinnamon. So the cinnamon rolls and pecan rolls at Jimmy's down the street, those were incredible. Those are good. Jimmy's down the street's another place that I hadn't been to, and it was, the food was really good. I uh, had the Irish Benedict. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was really good. The chicken and waffles. That, didn't you have that? The chicken was nice and crunchy, and it was just really, Very really crunchy. good. crunchy. It tasted awesome. Yeah. Like an old diner. You feel like you're in an old 60s diner. Yeah. I know, the whole feel of that place was just really, really cool. Did I tell you about that song I wrote about a tortilla? No. It's more of a rap, actually. <laughs> oh, Izzy's <laughs> Raps, their brisket, their smoked brisket wrap with au jus that you dip it in. That was awesome. They also had the bourbon peach barbecue burger. Yeah. 
And that was really good. Ooh, the appetizer, what do we get? Fried green tomatoes. Yep, fried yeah. green tomatoes. So Izzy's is known because they can make anything on the menu gluten-free. And I, I didn't try anything gluten-free. I don't know why, but what we had was awesome. The oh, burgers yeah. had great flavor. They got an outdoor patio thing where you can sit street side. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there. Yeah, beer, beer and wine. wine. It was just good, good food. It was so good. I went the next day. I took my parents there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so how do you get a hipster to eat a hot dog? You put it in a man bun. <laughs> so this is not so much about the buns, but the burger at uh, at Crafted. Yeah. That was really good. Now, Crafted is a place where you can go with a whole bunch of people and just hang out. They have big tables, they have beer. They have like 30 something taps, it seemed like. They're all lined up really nice. The outdoor atmosphere is mm -hmm. great with the fire pits. In the wintertime, they put up globes. It's really cool. I think though, just being right on Sherman Avenue, downtown, you're a block from the lake. It's it's a great It's setting. awesome. And the food was good. The sweet potato fries, the salads, the burgers, you know, a little bit of everything, something for everybody. It was just a good experience. I, yeah. I enjoy it. So do you know why the tomato blushed? Because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> So what do you think about Paragon? Paragon Brewing. Paragon is good, great food, and they make their own beer. The scotch eggs at Paragon are awesome. I mean, you, you can go visit the brewery, you can see what they're doing, but the hamburger, you had the blue cheeseburger thing? Blue cheeseburger that was, was awesome. That was so good, and I had the beef bourguignon. The beef bourguignon was awesome. Very tasty, tender. Bambi loved the beer and the steak. <laughs> it's just a good time. You can sit outside, you can bring your dogs. Just yeah. a, a, a friendly place with good food. Dude, that asparagus was so fresh. It had an auntie and uncle in Bel Air. So Cafe Carambola, everything's fresh and they're just open for lunch, right? Yes, uh, just a good light lunch. And they, they just happen to be on, on uh, Northwest Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of awkward for a restaurant, but I think they do a great job. So it's nice, fresh, local ingredients made into a Latin flair. It's just good food. They do a great job. <laughs> awesome food. Did you hear they caught the great produce bandit? No. He stopped to take a leak. So I don't know about leeks, but you know who has really fresh food, fresh vegetables and stuff? Who? Tony's. Tony's oh, by the lake. Tony's on the lake. Dude, their food was pretty good. You know, I have to awesome. I have to admit, it was my first time there, uh, and I was impressed. The fresh mozzarella cheese they make oh, for an appetizer. House Italiano. Italiano. Oh yeah, Italiano. That, that was <laughs> that was awesome. The roasted garlic, the fresh cheese. Yeah. That was really good. I had the uh, pork salt and boca, and I think you had the ribeye if I remember right. Yep. The ribeye or the short ribs? Which one was better? The ribeye. I like the ribeye. Yeah, the ribeye was great. The short ribs are awesome. And Bambi really, really enjoyed the ribeye. She also liked the red wine they served there. Uh, <laughs> don't tell them though. I don't think they knew we had a dog. Is she 21? Uh, in dog years, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, do you know how to make a salad wrap? By adding some beets. No? <laughs> it's decent. It's decent. <laughs> How about Angelo's? They had Italian pasta. It's, it's another just... really good print. See, th their something Boca, I gotta say, was better than Tony's. Ooh. That's my opinion. You know, again, nobody's paying me to make this video. Uh, you're helping out because you're sponsoring the video, which, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm taking sponsors for these videos, it's because we are not taking a free ride from anybody. Um, you know, we paid at every place we went, and as you can see from the video, there was a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of places, not only this video, but the previous video. Nobody paid. Uh, we went there, we spent money, we brought an honest uh, review, an honest video, the places that we like. This one's places that you guys like, that you guys recommended. Uh, and it does get expensive eating out I'd so say. many times a day. <laughs> Did you know that if you recently bought a house, you might want to wait 24 months before you sell it. That'll save you quite a bit of money on taxes. I didn't until I talked to Stefan. 15 minutes could save you 20% or more in capital gains tax. 
Now, if you have any real estate questions, if you're interested in buying and selling, there's nobody I recommend more than Stefan. We work together, I trust him. He has a lot of knowledge, he's been doing this Thank for you. how many years now? Uh, 10 years. 10 years selling yep. real estate. So, you know, it, you need someone you can trust and I highly recommend Stefan. If you're watching this video and you contact him, let him know who, who sent you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put all of his information down here in the description. If you're interested in buying, selling, or just have any questions, uh, contact Stefan. I, I wouldn't go to anybody else. Oh, great food. Angelo's is awesome. Don't they like have fresh pasta or something? It tasted really good, like yeah. fresh pasta. This spaghetti with uh, pesto, that is really good too. I mean, everything we had there was great. Mm -hmm. You know they had a cold soup? Strawberry, a strawberry mm -hmm. gazpacho. The goat cheese and artichoke cakes. Wow. That was a great appetizer. That yeah. was tasty. It was just, I don't know. Anything with goat cheese is good. Oh yeah. <laughs> but the chicken piccata, they don't even have it on the menu. I asked if they could make it and they said yes. That was great, good flavors, just a, another good place to eat in Coeur d'Alene. So what do you think about Wolf Lodge? Weren't you a vegetarian? Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Speaking of steaks, their steak is incredible. They have one, it's 40 ounces. You get 40 ounces of steak. <laughs> you know, I've had that many times. Really? That, this is, I don't know, 10 years ago. I was working out hard, I was eating a lot. I was running up and down Mineral Ridge and then we go there for dinner. I would eat the salad, appetizers, the steak, the sides, and then apple pie. <laughs> that was many years ago, I don't think I can do that now. I don't go there often because it's kind of out of the way. You kind of have to think ahead of time. And you have to make reservations in advance. They're always really busy. They're so super busy, busy. it's simple, the building is old, it's got a history to it. When would a guy prepare a candlelit dinner? When the power goes out. Talking about candles, what did you think of candle in the woods? Oh my gosh, what an experience. Can we put this one in like a whole nother category? Because it, yeah. it's not just the food, it's it's an experience. It's it's everything, yeah. We got there, what, six o'clock, and then we didn't get out till 10.30, and it was just an a great time. I still hurt from laughing so hard. Oh, 16 <laughs> courses or 18? 14. 14 courses. Okay. 14 courses for dinner. They're small bites, you know. I mm -hmm. I tend to eat a lot and I was comfortable after eating yeah, that. Yeah, I felt really stuffed. But they're like one to two bites mm -hmm. each course. Yeah, they're small. You don't even use forks. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. It was just a great, fun experience, you know, the food, the entertainment. Uh, the chef just did a fantastic job. Yeah, he did. I don't know, it was, it was just a, a really good experience. One long table. Yeah, so we all ate together, almost like a family. And once you leave there, you become cousins anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you feel time. like you know everybody, you're talking to the people next to you. It was just a, an amazing surprise to find friends that happen to be there the same night that we were. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it was just a really, really good experience. I think Chef David has a, a really good thing going on. I, it's hard to compare this one to any other restaurant because you can't. You, can. you don't get this experience. 14 courses. Paired with wine, like you get a, a, a little bit of wine with each course, so it, it, it just makes the whole experience better. So you're telling me I had 14 glasses of wine? Not glasses, they were pour, the 14 pours of wine, yes. <laughs> I knew I felt different. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet wines, I mean, I don't know. To, to me, if you haven't been there, it's, it's something that I highly recommend. It's a great dinner experience. Yeah. Uh, where do you go in North Idaho that you can have a four or five hour experience like this with food? Not many places at all. You well, got none that I... Live music, entertainment. Yeah. I don't know, it, it was just a really fun place, laughing, enjoying the time. I really tip my hat to David and his entire crew. It took everyone to make that happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, down to everything, our silverware, our napkins, where things were placed, the acoustic yeah. guitar, <laughs> you know, concert. It was just on the seamless. Side. It was just like a, yeah. a really, really good experience. Anyway, I really hope you try out these suggestions. These were places that I didn't know about. I heard about it through Facebook or through comments on YouTube. So these are something that I, I, I'm definitely gonna go back to. Now I have a whole yeah. bunch of other favorites. If you didn't see the video we made in June, I'm gonna put the link right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. What are we gonna do next time, breweries? 
I don't know, but I really think that you need a haircut. <laughs> it's coming Friday. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Friday, it's got, and I am gonna shave. This is for another project I'm working on. Oh. It's taken me two months. I've never had a beard like this. Wow. It's itchy. Itchy. My hair gets stuck and it just not, yeah. I don't That's know how why they sell it. the beard oil.